We have EasyJet reducing its losses in the first quarter. Ariane Celestino has the report. Hello, Ariane. Hi, Ryan. So, yes, British airline EasyJet slashed losses by half in the first quarter, despite the emergence of the Omicron coronavirus variant, which disrupted the travel industry, a company said Thursday. Pre-tax losses stood at £213 million in the three months to the end of December, after a £423 million loss in the same period of the group's previous financial year, the no frills career said in a statement. Revenues jumped almost fivefold to £805 million in the reporting period, while cost cutting helped offset the impact of inflation. The spread of the Omicron variant in December did hit travel bookings, but they were subsequently boosted by the UK government's recent decision to scrap COVID travel testing. The airline, which is based in Luton, north of London, now expects to return to near pre-pandemic capacity levels in the upcoming summer holiday season between July and August. The UK government had in December reimposed stricter travel rules, including mandatory pre-arrival tests and self-isolation until travellers had tested negative after a surge in cases due to Omicron. However, the travel measures were eased earlier this month as Prime Minister Boris Johnson argued they were having a limited impact while imposing significant costs on the industry. On Monday, the government announced that it will scrap a compulsory COVID tests from February 11th for fully jobbed arrivals and quarantine for unvaccinated travelers. Currently, fully vaccinated arrivals are required to take a lateral flow test within two days, while those not jobbed must self-isolate for 10 days and take several tests before and after travel. Transport Secretary Kwan Chops declared Monday that those requirements would now be asked making travel easier and cheaper and providing certainty for the travel aviation sector. That's all from me. Back to you, Ryan. Thank you, Ariane. And can we just ask, what is EasyJet's British Airlines expecting from the coming months since Omicron has dented its winter bookings in December? So, Ryan, according to FT.com, UK low-cost carrier EasyJet is still expecting a strong summer ahead. EasyJet has started uh, receiving more bookings from UK passengers than from continental Europe for the first time since spring 2020. It's because of the loosened travel restrictions. Also, Ryan, the ticket sales from the UK to beach and leisure destinations were particularly strong, according to EasyJet's chief executive, John Landren. Ryan. Thank you so very much for joining us today, Ariane, and thank you for the report. Thank you for having me today. Reporting from the United Kingdom, I am Ariane Celestino. We live in interesting times.